It doesn't like it that I stole his offspring. I'll put the egg back down. I have enough enemies here as it is. Oh. At least now the poor little guy has a real chance of seeing something come out of that egg. Yes. An egg-shaped thing made of metal. Well, that's descriptive. Okay, go back inside. No idea what that is. Here. It fits, and the machine is also starting to work again. All right. Um. Back in here, where they tired to drown us. The egg is missing. The water is going to drain right out again. Oh well, we're forgetting something. What are we forgetting? the cork in style. Ooh. Use it like it even reasonably fits into the drain. That should stop the water from draining. At least not too quickly. Yay! The tub is full. Woohoo! <laughs> Now what? We don't want the bad guys to have access to water. Let's take the egg back. Too bad, actually. It was just about to get nice and warm. I know, right? Go back down here. Back in here. All right. The water has frozen over pretty quickly. Now we can I hope up. that the ice will hold me. You know, you could have just stood on the edge of the tub. All right, we got a VHS tape. The camera has been screwed on tight but at least I could remove the strap. The video cassette from the surveillance camera in the bathroom. All right, now we go to the uh, video room and see what's on the tape. In there. Oh, there is something else on the tape. A remainder of another recording. Looks like the room right next door. This Nicole Charleroi is having a discussion with a really elegantly dressed guy. Unfortunately, his back is to the camera. But I could swear that it's... What's going on down there? Uh-oh. Something blow up? Oh, it's I the rich guy. we are ready. Yes, apart from a few small details, everything is ready. Thanks to the artifact, we were able to quickly bring the radiation fields to the desired level. So I was right. About the artifact? About you, Professor Charleroi. Your team has truly done magnificent work. And Sergei, Oleg, you also deserve a lot of praise. Thank you. It was an honor for us. But enough self-congratulations. We still have a lot to do. Mankind is waiting for us to relieve them from a few decisions. 
Massimo Gartuso? If he's involved in this, it must be a really big thing. And if he goes to the ends of the world just for this, then I'd rather not dwell on how big this thing is. Realistically, there are only two possibilities. Either I make sure there is a super big noise, or I die clandestinely, quietly, and unnoticed. And since I definitely do not feel like dying, I should think of something that makes a huge kaboom. Only I probably won't be able to do much by myself. I need help, and I need it fast. Two, five, one, three. Is this gonna make it blow up? Two, five, one, three. Done it. I wonder what is waiting for me in that room over there. Uh huh. Full of fireworks. Fireworks? I go. think I'll take a couple with me. And probably the matches, too. Yeah. All of the equipment looks to be completely out of date. They obviously only invested in stuff that was absolutely necessary. Equipment for measuring and analysis. What exactly can one do with it? I haven't got the faintest idea. There is something in the close vicinity of the research station. Most likely an airplane. Maybe they can come and get me out of here. I just have to get their attention somehow. Well, we got fireworks. There. Let's see here. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, beacon. Off to the whaling ship. Okay, let's connect it. The to matches the burn well, but the fuse doesn't. It probably got wet at some point in time. Let's dip our wick. Hopefully the fuses will work again if I pour the whale oil over them. Gotta get the plane's attention. Yeehaw! Watch it be max. C-130. Wave at the plane. Yay! I told you it was Max. I want to know how he knew, though. Max! So Oleg was right. It's not what you think. Typical statement from a man. They aren't our enemies. They want to help us. I've had my fill lately of people who allegedly want to help me. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry about Oleg. How did you know? Later. These men have brought me here to... So you are in cahoots with them. They're the same guys who were seen in the museum by the janitor and the little girl when my father was kidnapped, right? Yes, and the sect did actually kidnap your father. But for his own protection. Don't worry. He's fine. For his Wait protection? From people like you? How did he know? You played me for a sucker and were working with these guys the entire time. No. When I got back from Ireland, the sect also kidnapped me. Then they explain how everything fits together. Oh. I've never seen these guys before that. You have to believe me. Do I? During his investigation into the Tunguska catastrophe, your father stumbled onto something that has to be kept secret at all costs. The sect has done everything it can to make sure this secret doesn't fall into the wrong hands. And what is that? The people believe that they are the offspring of aliens from outer space. Oh, well, of God. course they are. And the Tunguska catastrophe was caused by a nuclear-powered interstellar spaceship that crashed while trying to rescue its last living survivors from Earth. Bullshit! Psst. Don't tell me you believe that. I don't know what I should believe anymore. Do you remember your encounter with the sect? In Tunguska? Yes. It was pretty weird. The fact is that in the summer of 1908, an unidentified object was annihilated in a detonation as powerful as a modern hydrogen bomb. But they found no crater and no remains. 
Then these strange fragments appeared years later. Your father examined them and discovered that they were made from materials that didn't come from Earth, but were processed. The Kalenkov report? Exactly. Then the military got a hold of the material and your father was prohibited from doing any more research. When he and Manuel Perez took off again for the Tunguska region, Perez accidentally became a victim of an experiment that the military was conducting with the extraterrestrial object there. Your father realizes how dangerous the material is, but he continues to do research despite, or maybe because of it, until he comes across evidence of the Zopa, whose abandoned caves he discovers in China. There he discovers artifacts that consist of the same extraterrestrial material as the fragments from the Tunguska region. A strange connection, don't you think? And one of the artifacts is here now, delivered personally by Nina Kalenkov. The station belongs to a man named Massimo Gartuso. Have you ever heard his name before? Billionaire. Divorced three times. Devastatingly handsome. You can ask him for an autograph in a second. What? <laughs> He's here. He's I here. saw him below in the station. Hopefully we aren't too late. He bought shares in all the telecommunication companies through middlemen and will soon control the entire mobile network. So what? Are you afraid that the prices per minute will go up? Be serious for a second, Nina. Don't you have any idea what they're planning here? Think about Perez's accident, the psychiatric clinic in Cuba, the French female scientist, and the Russians' animal experiments. Give me a hint. They are working on a technology that will manipulate thoughts. Oh, come on. First you come to me with, with these aliens, and now this? It sounds inconceivable, I know. But research into this technology is nothing new. As far as I know, no one has been successful yet. But with this extraterrestrial material... Do you think that Massimo Gartuso will go to so much trouble if the artifact was merely of value archaeologically? The sect believes that he is about to implement this technology. And you can imagine what will happen then. So, do you trust these people? More than I trust this Gartuso. And what are you planning to do? The sect will take care of detonating the transmitter, and we have to find a way to disrupt the experiment itself. Are you familiar with the layout in there? Is there maybe a control room or something like that? Sure. Follow me and try to be inconspicuous. Yes, sir. Oh, before I forget, I found your cell phone in the caves in China. I thought you'd probably need it. In case you want to call me after all this is finished. I know your number by heart. <laughs> so, the elevator should be working again. But maybe we should wait until the sec members have detonated the antenna. And if not, we still have the element of surprise on our side. So you really want to go down there? Yes. Now let's go. Let's go. Where are they going? Damn, what just happened? Uh-oh. The elevator appears to still be working, as do some of the doors. But I can't open the other ones. Nina! Can you hear me? Just great. I have to get the doors open as soon as possible or we'll have a real problem. We've had more than enough of those already. Hopefully Nina will wait for me and won't do anything stupid. But if I know her, she probably will. Max doesn't seem to hear <laughs> that was rude. door. Now what? Hopefully he'll get the door open again. But I can't really wait for him to do it. We have no time to lose. Maybe that elevator still works. Then I can look around a little downstairs. Down here. One of the surveillance cameras. Hopefully, Max is constantly checking the monitors in the control room. The pipe is cold. Mm -hmm. Someone took the knob that opens and closes the vent. There's just a rod left now. I can't open or close the valve with my bare hands. A radiator. A radiator. The radiator feels cold. What an enormous icicle. I can't break it loose. It's much too massive for that. I hear voices behind that door. As long as I don't have an army behind me, I really shouldn't go in there. Let's go back out here. Uh, click this. We need that icicle. All right, now we have an icicle. What an enormous icicle. The tube leads through the wall into the hallway. An iron chain hanging in the middle of the room. 
No idea what that's good for. Take it. Didn't go in my inventory. There are two labels on it. Danger, explosive, and do not bring in contact with water. For such dangerous stuff, that that sure doesn't make a stable impression. I'd better not touch it. The labels on it promise a lot of trouble if I do. And I have more than enough of that already. This wrench ought to make sure that the lid doesn't open accidentally. Take it. The sign warns that contact with water could trigger chemical reactions. The paint is so brittle that it crumbles just looking at it. In some places where the walls have cracked, the ice is visible behind the walls. We must therefore be below sea level. Hopefully the lid won't open. found a nut. When I wedged the icicle between the pipes, the nut broke from the mounting bracket of the pipes. Okay. We need, we have a wrench, so we can now turn... My former teacher, uh, Mr. Puetz, would say no one can force a round metal rod to rotate with a wrench. The nut would just slide back and forth, and that won't get me anywhere either. I threaded the rod. Good for you. Now, we can turn it on. Phew, no chance. Get out of the way. There we go. There Phew, that's it then. The vent is open. A radiator. The radiator is gurgling and is cold. I guess there isn't enough water in the pipes. One of the surveillance cameras. Hopefully Max is constantly checking the monitors in the control room. I wonder if Max can turn on the water for us. The sign is riveted. The paint stuck to the silicone. With a little imagination, you can see the sign again. The peeled off paint from the shield is now on the silicone impression. The no water symbol can be made out halfway clearly. Okay. So, there we go. Hold the sign up in front of the camera. Water? Heat? There's no water in the heating unit? I'll see if I can find a control unit for the water feed. I hope that was the right switch. There seems to be enough water in it now, but the radiator is still not heating up. If my plan works and Max understands my clues, the heater will get warm, and so will the pipes with the icicle between them. When it melts and slides out of the pipes, it will hopefully push the vat from the shelf onto the floor. And as soon as the vat cover opens and the highly explosive chemical comes into contact with the ice on the floor, it will go kaboom! A great fuse! If I could somehow get out of here, I should close the valve again afterwards, otherwise this whole joint will blow with me and Max inside! There's no flame lit in the heating unit? Well, then let's look for the right button that fires it up. So, that should have been it. Ah, oh, damn it! Nina, look out! So I did hear right. The lady did actually manage to free herself. Well, then come along. The boss is already eagerly waiting to make your acquaintance. Ah, Miss Kalinkov. We finally meet in person. Please excuse my bad manners. I would have introduced myself much sooner.